I have gestational diabetes, and my blood sugar is always high in the morning. What should I do? I will further explain the situation here. Let's say you have gestational diabetes, which means the diabetes was found during pregnancy, but you have no diabetes before pregnancy, and your blood sugar is in targets are mostly good after meals. However, they are frequently high before breakfast. And you are not taking any medications for diabetes, and this is the situation I'm talking about. For example, let's say I have gestational diabetes, I've, but I have no diabetes before pregnancy. My blood sugar in the morning before breakfast, the fasting blood sugar has been in the 100 to 110 range most of the time, which is above target, but it is in target for the rest of the day. And I'm not taking any medications for diabetes, for gestational diabetes. So what should I do in this kind of situation? Some possible reasons for high fasting blood sugar during pregnancy. First is eating too late or too much、uh, for the last meal of the day. The second is stress at night. For example, some people toss and turns. Some people keeps on waking up to urinate. Some people have pain in the middle of the night. They have joint pain. They have back pain, and so on. And all those can cause stress. Stress can raise blood sugar. And the third one is even if you have perfect diet and you have no stress at all, blood sugar can still be high without eating. This is because liver and muscles are big reservoir of sugar. Even without eating, they will keep on releasing sugar into the blood, especially when you have gestational diabetes. So it is possible that the blood sugar continue to go high, continue to rise, even without eating. So the solution to this kind of situation is. If your blood sugar is only slightly high, the fasting blood sugar, let's say in the 100 to 110 range, then what you can do is to reduce carbohydrates and fats in the last meal of the day, and also try to eat early, at least 12 hours before breakfast. Also try to reduce stress as much as possible at night. However, if your blood sugar is very high, let's say your fasting blood sugar is 120, 130, or even higher, or you are not able to get your fasting blood sugar down to targets after your best effort for one week, best effort in diet, best effort in reducing stress, then insulin will be necessary. Now let's go back to the example. Her fasting blood sugar is a little bit higher than target, so she tried to reduce carbohydrate and fat in dinner, and no snacking after 7 p.m. Then in the next couple of days, her fasting blood sugar has come down to below 95 on most days, which is a target. If you're not clear about the targets for Blood sugar during pregnancy, then look it up on hmf-diabetes.com.